We've been working a lot recently with a client who's been with us for a number of years and I feel as though during that time she's really benefited from a lot of the different services that we offer and she's been able to use these as she's gone through different stages of life. Unlike many firms, Killick does have several services that don't have any investment minimums and therefore this client was able to use one of our regular saving services and that really helped her to build up a bit more of an investment pot and after that point she was able to move into a different service and that gave her a more bespoke portfolio. When this lady first became a client her wider financial situation really was very straightforward but then there came a point when her and her husband came into quite a large sum of money quite unexpectedly and at that point there were so many more life options open to this couple and I decided that because the situation was suddenly so much more complicated it would be a really good time to bring in a financial planner so I decided to introduce my colleague Bronwyn who I've worked with a number of clients on over the past few years. My role as a planner is to help the clients with their overarching strategy, really looking at the big picture. So with our client, um, we sat down, we, we looked at really what her objectives and her financial goals were. Her and her husband wanted to pay their mortgage off, they wanted to make sure that they put money aside for private education for their children. Uh, they wanted to ensure that they continued being really tax efficient with their investing, but also too thinking about that retirement pot down the track. And then also too thinking about inheritance tax and leaving money for the family. So my role as an investment manager is to work with clients to understand their investment objectives and also their appetite for risk. And then I'll work with those clients to put together a portfolio that's right for them. And that might be a discretionary service where I'd be choosing the investments on their behalf. It might be an advisory service where I'd be giving the client advice and they would make the final decision about what investment to buy. We've got lots of different services and lots of different investment options available for our clients. Once I'd actually identified their goals and objectives and what they really wanted to achieve, it was about putting together a financial plan. So a financial plan is a roadmap. It's telling us how we're actually going to get to, to meet all of those objectives. And so firstly, we paid the mortgage off straight away. And then we made sure that in this year, they were tax efficient, they utilized their allowances. So they used their ICEs, they made pension contributions. They actually opened up junior ICEs for, for their children as well. This meant that they had a lot more money in their pot they were receiving tax relief as well. Also too, we were able to utilise what we call EISs, so Enterprise Investment Schemes. And this gives them a little bit more tax relief, but also allowing them to have a little bit of inheritance tax relief. The clients then added more money to the portfolio and I was able to invest that based on Bronwyn's advice. So for example, I knew that some of the money in the pensions would be inherited later by the children. But because the investment time horizon on that money was so long, I could take a bit more risk with that money. However, the money in the main account was going to be used for private school fees and therefore that would be used in the much nearer future and I couldn't take as much risk with that so I decided to invest that money in UK government bonds which are relatively low risk and also they're very tax efficient when held outside of an ISA or a SIP account. So from a planning perspective here at Killick we, we take things in bite-sized chunks for, for clients. Rather than doing a one-off piece of advice where there's a whole list of recommendations and, and actions for the client, what we do is we break it down and we tackle things one by one. Now this means that for busy clients like, like ours at the moment, she can tackle things in and around her career and her family. Also it's really important after sitting down with a client and identifying those objectives and putting that plan in place, we need to ensure that we review it on a regular basis. So working with Rachel as part of our advisor team really frees me up and allows me to concentrate on what I need to do for the clients. So looking at that big picture for them, the overarching strategy and really keeping up to date with tax and legislative changes. Knowing that, that she's there on a day-to-day -day basis, watching the markets, um, it gives me great peace of mind that you know the advice that I'm giving is going to be fulfilled from the investment side. When I know that Bronwyn is taking care of the client's wider financial situation, I can then focus on managing the portfolio day to day, I can really focus on enhancing that performance and I know that because of Bronwyn's advice that portfolio will be as tax efficient as possible and the client will be better off as a result.